Ohio Air National Guard F-16s came to Hawaii for exercise Century Aloha. They worked with F-15s from Massachusetts and F-22s from Hawaii and Alaska during daily aerial combat scenarios. We're the strikers, the bomb droppers uh, for this exercise for the most part. Uh, so the F-22s and the F-15s are going to try to get us into the target area, drop bombs and, uh, uh, and bring firepower to the enemy. Being out here in the good weather and uh, the great airspace over the water, it's a very unique and uh, a very good training opportunity for our guys. That good weather also made a difference on the maintenance side for the Ohio-based crews. Temperatures are pretty steady, so back home we have we can have a fluctuation of 50 to 60 degrees in a day, which uh, can really mess with the systems on the airplane. So a steady temperature all day long and throughout the night uh, makes things consistent with obviously the, the beautiful weather here and uh, the sunshine and just makes the aircraft perform a lot better. The F-16s sometimes acted as red air, imitating the tactics of enemy forces or as blue air friendly forces supporting the other fighters. It's been awesome being able to come out here and support our fifth gen uh, brethren in the F-22 and provide them some uh, quality red air and as well to get to work with them on the blue air side and see how we all can integrate together and uh, work with fourth gen and fifth gen fighters. This was the first time that fourth and fifth generation fighters have all been integrated during the training at Century Aloha. Tech Sergeant Michael Jackson, Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, Hawaii.